I'm Ryan German, I'm 14, and I'm the founder of the thechildrensfoundation.org. Ryan decided to start an organization focused on helping kids after a very scary incident with his grandfather. The thechildrensfoundation.org is an organization that I founded about seven months ago after my grandfather survived a massive heart attack. While my grandfather was in the hospital, I was pretty sad, but I knew he was in the care of good doctors that are very skilled, and there were moments where I had very high hopes there were moments where I didn't have such high hopes. I wanted to give back to Cedar sinai because the surgeons at Cedar sinai saved my grandfather's life. So this is my way of giving back through the thechildrensfoundation.org. Ryan started the thechildrensfoundation.org with some of his bar mitzvah money. He received many generous gifts and he gave of himself and he started this organization to help kids and put smiles on their faces. A bar mitzvah is a young Jewish man's coming of age and a mitzvah is a good deed. And when you have your bar mitzvah, you're supposed to enter into adulthood. And when you're an adult, you do good deeds. So my first good deed after being bar mitzvah was starting this, and it's gonna come with me the rest of my life. Ryan has a lot of compassion towards children, and helping them get the supplies they need is something near and dear to his heart. Ryan's generous gift consisted of $1,500 that was used for the breathing device in the delivery room, and $500 that has gone to purchase of numerous toys that will help the children in the playroom environment here at Cedars High. This foundation is promoting kids helping kids, because myself, I'm 14, I consider myself a kid, and I'm helping younger kids. So, it's kids helping kids. The money from the foundation buys breathing machines and toys for the children to play with. To see smiles on little kids' faces, and to see that what the foundation gave to actually go to work, it's probably the best feeling that you can have. And it brings a smile to my face. Creating a nonprofit organization from the ground up is never an easy task, but Ryan had the support from his family and a little help from his savings account. I made a Facebook page, I made a Twitter page, I had some help making an actual website for the organization, and I helped in the hospital. The funding for the foundation obviously started in the beginning. My parents helped me out. We went half and half with the funding to actually get the website started and made and created, and then it pretty much took off from it. Ryan is very loving and caring. He always opens up a hand to someone in need. I've seen him do it over and over again. He's extremely caring and empathetic. It's our family tradition to do mitzvahs, which could be giving a donation or just helping someone out when they need you and just being there for people. He has the typical busy teen schedule and still seems to find time for his organization. Education is very important to me because with a proper education, there's really no limit to what you can do in your life. I do love school. I love learning new things each and every day. I love math, I love science, I love basketball. I've been playing since I was about three or four, almost 10 years, and I've even won a championship in the league that I'm in. Although Ryan is extremely busy with his schoolwork and his basketball league and his childrensfoundation.org, he still finds time to sit down for dinner with us and spend weekend family time with my husband and I and his brother Mark. I practice healthy living each and every day by playing basketball. I also eat right and I eat healthy. We eat at home often, the restaurants are family. Getting others involved is as simple as a donation. There are so many ways that we can take our resources on a day-to-day -day basis and give back to the Maxine Dennett's Children's Health Center here at Cedar sinai One way is a gift of time. Other ways include monetary gifts that allow us to purchase equipment and supplies for these special children. Other teens can get involved easily. They can check out the Facebook page or the Twitter page or email me and give me new ideas or tell me about how they're raising money. They can also donate in honor of our foundation. It's thanks to Cedar sinai Hospital that Ryan even started the thechildrensfoundation.org. And he loves visiting and donating on a regular basis now. We're all products of our life experiences, and to think that Ryan is going to take this challenging situation with his grandfather, develop a passion, and give back to children in the community is a wonderful way for him to be a young icon a wonderful role model and help children here at the Maxine Dunnett's Children's Health Center. His focus for the future will be to become a part of the medical field, something he probably never even imagined possible a few years ago. I want to be a surgeon. I want to graduate from Stanford Medical School. 
and be the best doctor that I can be. You're watching The Young Icons. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.